friends! I was looking back at some of my old makeup videos and I realized that the lighting is not that great and so today I'm going to do a get ready with me video and show you my basic everyday not super fancy not super plain just kind of middle of the road makeup routine in some better lighting so here we go I'll go ahead and drop the link for all the products that I'm using down in the description and if you have any questions about any of them just let me know I've already cleansed and moisturized my face so now I'm gonna apply my mattifying primer this is the mattifying primer from Savvy Minerals by Young Living and I love this stuff it is brand new it just came out at convention and it is amazing doesn't have any of that toxic junk in it and it just really helps to even the canvas you only need a tiny tiny bit it just glides on smells so good of course it's infused with amazing skin loving essential oils so it's great for your skin helps your foundation adhere better it helps to kind of fill in those little pores and fine lines so just press that in gently all over my face it's just a little bit tacky so it's perfect all right the foundation color that i use is warm two and that's also from savvy minerals so what i'm going to do is just tap a little bit into the lid now i'm going to take my foundation brush also from savvy minerals these brushes are a must-have like they are what make the foundation go on amazing and then this is the misting spray and the misting spray in combination with the powder minerals gives you a really really nice application and you don't lose as much in the fallout because it's slightly damp so you don't want your brush soaking wet just damp and then I'm gonna tap it in those minerals tap off the excess you don't tap off the excess you'll get a little bit clumpy and then I just kind of pat it like stipple it where I want it and I usually just start with like one section of my face like a quarter of my face depending on how much coverage I want All right, I've done this section. Now I'm just gonna do the exact same thing with the rest of my face, so I'm gonna speed it up for you. All right, I am done with my foundation. That was really quick and easy. And as you can see, it doesn't give you the super um, just caked on like you just have a mask on, but it does really even out your complexion and helps with any redness. If you have areas that need more coverage like blemishes, there are some tips and tricks on how to take care of those as well. But right now, Thank the Lord, I don't have any, no zits, no, no blemish issues going on right now because when I threw out all my old makeup and switched to Savvy, my skin completely cleared up in the matter of a couple weeks. So thankfully my skin is so much better now, I don't even have to really worry about any kind of concealer. Okay, we're gonna move on. And I do like to do a little bit of contouring. Now this is completely optional if you're just wanting a everyday look, you can skip this, just fast forward. I'm gonna take a contour brush, and this is not a Savvy Minerals brush. They have a contour brush, I just haven't got it yet. So I'm going to take now, this is a foundation, and this is dark two. So this is about um, three shades or so darker than my natural skin tone. I'm gonna dip this in here dry. I'm not gonna mist this brush because I don't want a super heavy application. I want it really light, and I want it really blendable. So I'm gonna tap off as much of that excess as I can. And then I'm going to take this and I'm gonna go just underneath my cheekbones. So right in here, and only out to about the middle of my cheek. I don't like to go any farther than that. 
starting, you know, right where the actual prominence of your bone is and right below that. So right under there and just blend like your life depends on it. Blend that out super well. I use the word super like way, way too much. I need to, in the comments, give me some alternatives, some synonyms for super. So I don't use that word so much. I need to change my vocabulary. Conscious language, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna do the other side. Just right under that cheekbone. And if I said brow bone earlier, I can't remember if I did, I meant cheekbone, kind of obvious, but pregnancy brain has had me saying weird words lately. Like I'll say antibiotic instead of probiotic when I mean probiotic. Oh, you pregnant ladies, you know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. So then I also, after I've done that, so yes, I know it looks a little scary right now, but I'm going to blend it in. Now I'm going to take just the tiny bit that's left in that lid, dab that, tap off the excess, and this is where I really like to do it. I like to go right up next to my hairline and even like press it into my hairline. And y'all, my hair has been so good lately too. I'm not bragging. I'm just, well, I'm bragging on uh, the Young Living's amazing products. Switch to their shampoo, switch to their conditioner, all plant-based, no parabens, no phthalates, no artificial chemical fragrances. And my hair has been so healthy and it has grown and it's so shiny. I use the new Mira Lustrous Hair Oil. Oh, it's just amazing. Okay, so that you can't really see, but um, I promise in real life you can see it better. The light kind of washes it out. But what this does is this will just contour your forehead and I have a pretty high forehead. So I like to put a little bit of contour up there just to give a little more shape, a little more shadow. Okay, so there you can see that it's lighter here and a little darker around the edges. And it gives me that little bit of sun-kissed glow as well. Okay, so after I do my um, contour, I like to do my blush. And I'm going to use the blush brush from Savvy Minerals. And these brushes are so soft. They are the softest thing you will ever put on your skin. This blush is Charisma. And I like a really pinky blush. They have a lot of other colors that are more muted. They're more um, maybe some corals or some really light nude blushes, but I like a really pink blush. I always have. When I'm an old lady, I'm gonna be the old lady with the bright pink cheeks. <laughs> okay, so I tap again a little bit in the lid and then I just work the brush into the lid. And what that does until there's nothing left in there, that works all of that blush powder down into the bristles so it's not all concentrated on the end. That way I don't get this really bright, heavy concentration when I put it on and I can build as I want. So I just start at the apples of my cheeks and just gently just kind of brush it backwards and then on the other side as well. And then I swirl and you can see that color coming on very gently and this this makeup is so buildable so you can start and if you go that's not quite dark enough for me you can pick up a tiny bit more and it doesn't translate on camera as much as it does in real life so I'm going to put a little bit more on for you guys a little higher up there and I'm making it a little darker than I would normally just so that you can really see these pretty colors okay and I will blend it out more, don't worry. <laughs> All right, so there you go. That is the Charisma blush. Now I like to do a little bit more contouring, but this is the highlight part of the contouring. So I take the Matte Mineral Veil, which is also brand new. It's like their old Mineral Veil, but it is not shimmery. It's completely matte. And I take just a little bit of that on my foundation brush and Tap off the excess. You can kind of swirl it in the lid if you want to get it worked into the brush real well. And then I take that, and so that's gonna be a very light, almost a translucent color. And I take that and I go right under my eyes and up the top of my cheekbone. 
and that will give me a nice lighter highlight there, but it will not be shimmery. So it's just, just to lighten up that under the eye area. Just swirling that on and then do it on the other side. And you could do a little in the center of your forehead as well, down your nose, and a little right on your chin. Okay, now that that's done, I take the big fluffy brush. This is the Veil brush from Young Living, Savvy Minerals. And I, again, go in this translucent um, matte veil and pick up just a little bit on the brush, swirl it in the lid so it's a little e more evenly distributed on the brush. There you go. Well, it doesn't look like it, but it is. It's, it's much more all over all the bristles. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to go over my whole face with that. And what that does is this is when everything is going to come together. This is where I'm going to blend in that contour. I'm going to blend in blush. I'm going to blend in all of those colors so we won't have stripes anywhere on our face. We'll have nice blended, very natural looking color. Okay. And then this veil also works to minimize fine lines and wrinkles, to minimize pores, to give you that photoshopped effect. And to me, it almost gives your skin that porcelain, that porcelain look. So there's the foundation, the contour, the blush, the little bit of highlight, that's all done. Okay, now after that, um, sometimes I just do mascara for a quick, quick look. If I need to get out the door and maybe some lip gloss, I'm going to show you guys this new palette. This is absolutely beautiful. There are some gorgeous colors in here, and the reason I love it is because it's super easy. There I go again. It's very easy. It's extremely easy <laughs> to apply on the go. So there's some colors of the purple, kind of a bronze, a pink. As you can see, I've used the purple quite a bit because I love that color. Um, it's really easy to apply on the go because it's not messy, it's just really easy. I'm gonna go in this really pretty pink right here. This one is called um, Timeless, this pink. So I'm gonna get some of this on my brush and get up close and personal with you guys right now. Okay, let me see. I think I might just use this, so this will be easier for you guys to see, okay? There we go. And I found that the pigment of these shadows in this palette as opposed to the ones um, in the loose powders is a little bit more intense. So when I put this on, I can get quite a bit more color than when I use the loose powders unless I'm applying them foiled or wet just a little bit with the misting spray. Then I'm gonna blend this. And then we have this great blending brush from Savvy Minerals, and I'm gonna go around the outside and really blend that in so we don't have any lines. And I could also do, you know, a, a lighter highlight color and a darker crease color, but for this morning, I'm trying to keep it fairly minimal for you guys, so I'm just gonna blend this out all the way so it's not harsh. Okay, there you go. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and speed it up for you guys. Okay, that is done. Now I am going to do my brows, and for my brows I like to use the product called Multitasker, and it's a loose powder. It's dark brown, but it also comes in three lighter shades, so if you have lighter hair and you don't want Groucho Marx eyebrows, <laughs> you can use those. And then this is a little angled brush. I'm going to dip it in that powder, tap off the excess, and just go in on my eyebrows. And I like to just kind of dot it where I want it first. 
and then I go in and kind of do more strokes. And I don't like to go super, there you go again, <laughs> it's terrible. I don't like to go really, um, really crazy with drawing, drawing on a brow that isn't there or getting really bold with my outlining. I just like to fill in where I already have hairs just to darken them up, make them look a little thicker. And that is pretty much it. And then once I do that, I use this brush to um, just comb the hairs so they're all laying the right direction. There we go. Okay. And, and that's it. So you can see the difference, how it really makes my eyes pop. It accentuates my whole face. And then this side is just not quite as dark. So let me go ahead and do the other side. got my brows the way I want them. Now I'm going to do the mascara. And Young Living just released their mascara at convention and I love it. It is infused with lavender essential oil. So it's gonna condition your lashes at the same time that it's lengthening them and darkening them. And that lavender essential oil will just help your lashes grow And I don't typically do mascara on my lower lashes. I probably should, but I just find that I make a huge mess when I do that. So I usually just leave my lower lashes alone or I take a little bit of one of the darker eyeshadows and I just kind of gently smudge along the bottom. But I am pretty much done except for the lipstick. And today I'm going to do the lipstick Untamed. And these new lipsticks are incredible. They are so moisturizing and I love this color. It, again, is this really dark, kind of a, a rose, like a blush rose. An antique rose is, is what I think of when I use it. Mm, so creamy it just goes on like a dream doesn't dry your lips out mm. yummy and these are also infused with essential oils surprise they have the cinnamon essential oil blend in them so there you have it it's my not quite everyday, not quite fancy, just kind of middle of the road makeup. And it feels so light on my skin. My skin doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. It lasts, by the end of the day, I find that my foundation actually looks better than it does when I first put it on. I do not get shiny throughout the day. That mattifying primer and the matte mineral veil help to keep any shine at bay through the whole day. The lipstick will not make your lips dry out. It will not make them peel like all the other lipsticks I used to use. So I am just so, so happy with this amazing makeup and I know that I'm doing good things for my skin. My skin just keeps getting better every day. I'm not putting toxins on my skin. I'm not ingesting lead with my lipstick. So there you have it. The Savvy Minerals look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, if you want more in-depth tutorials, or you want to look at any of the colors more closely, just let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.